five books. That's all I needed to breathe through the oral portion of my check ride. And in this video, I will share with you the five books I used. So if you want to do well on your FAA oral exam, stick around. Hello everyone, I hope you're well and staying indoors away from the COVID-19 madness. My name is Nati and my channel VLN Wings is all about pilot experience and experiences. If this is your first time on this channel, please smash that subscribe button for me. Today we're talking about 5 book recommendations that will help you get ready for the oral portion of the FAA checkride. These books will work for your private, instrument or commercial examinations. Before we get into the books, here's a little nugget on the oral exam. The oral is the first of two parts in a check ride and is the first impression that your examiner will get of your knowledge. There are three possible ways it can go for you. One, you read the materials, prepared and did very well on your oral discussion. Two, you were not as prepared and did okay, but your oral just took longer to complete because the examiner had to ask you additional questions to make sure your knowledge is satisfactory. And the third option is disapproval, which we're not even going to talk about in this video because you're gonna read those books and nail your exam. The first book, which for me was the base for my preparation, is Michael Hayes' Oral Exam Guide. As you can see here, there are several variations of the book covering the different check rides. These guides contain many of the questions you will be asked during the oral exam. The questions are laid out in an easy to understand way, the answers are concise, and the book is divided into chapters based on the general topics that will be covered by your examiner. Throughout these guides, there are a lot of references to other materials, which is why it's a great baseline to start studying off of. Being able to answer the questions in this guide means you are well on your way to doing great on your check ride. One of the references I just mentioned is our second book recommendation. The Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge right here is the most comprehensive book you can get, covering all the aeronautical aspects that you need to know before your check ride. Unlike the exam guide we just talked about, I wouldn't read all of it right off the bat because it's huge and may contain information that is not relevant to your particular check ride. This handbook is super useful if you need more information about questions in the exam guide that you find you do not know enough about. On top of being incredibly detailed, the things I found most helpful about this book are the diagrams and illustrations that help you understand the topics discussed in much greater depth. So no matter what check ride you are preparing for, this book should always be in your aviation library. The third book you should be familiar with is the FAR AIM. FAR stands for Federal Aviation Regulations and AIM stands for Aeronautical Information Manual. This is another book that is referenced in the oral exam guide, so if you want to know the specific FAA regulations cited in a question, this is where you will find it. There may also be some specific regulations you need to be familiar with for your respective check ride, or perhaps your examiner would like to test your knowledge in the different parts of the FARs. For example, part 43 is for maintenance and part 91 is for general operating and flight rules and so on. I got the 2019 hardcover right here with me. However, instead of buying the book every time a new edition comes out, I recommend you download the Far Aim app on your iPad or iPhone. You'll pay for it once, but it will keep updating with the new versions. I use ASA's app, however, there are several more options for you to choose from. The fourth book you should get is your airplane's POH, which is short for Pilot's Operating Handbook. I did various ratings in different aircraft and studied the airplane systems, diagrams and specifications directly from the POH. Your examiner may want to know about the engine in your plane as well as the type of landing gear, mechanics, electrical systems, fuel system and other information specific to the plane that you'll be bringing with you to the checkride. Remember, the examiner will know in advance the airplane type you will be bringing with you to your checkride because you would have specified it on your IACA application, so make sure you're familiar with all the systems. The final book you should get or download directly from the FAA website is the Airman Certification Standards or ACS. 
After studying all the different handbooks we discussed in this video, the ACS will help you organize the information in the order it may appear on your all exam. The examiner must follow the ACS during the exam, so if it's not mentioned in the ACS, you will not be asked about it. The ACS addresses different tasks and provides the references, objectives, knowledge and risk management items associated with the task, as well as the skill you will be tested on during the practical part of your checkride. It's written in an easy to understand format, so make sure you familiarize yourself with it before you go on your checkride. I hope you find these books helpful in your preparation for your check rides. If you have additional books you would like to recommend, or any comments or questions you would like addressed in future videos, please leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button to know when the next video comes out. And until that happens, I'll see you up there.